The summer campaign is here. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. And welcome, Will. Hello, Jack. Along. How are you? I'm, I'm very well, in, enjoying the We're, summer. <laughs> we are outside. We didn't yeah. plan to be outside at the beginning but of the summer are. campaign. But we are outside. So, the summer campaign, Will. Yes. What is it? Why are we doing the summer okay. campaign? The main focus of the summer campaign really is to highlight the issue that for homeless people or people who are vulnerably housed, the summer makes no difference to their circumstance. Uh, and what we want to remind people over the next couple of weeks really is that the work that we do uh, continues, the support that's required continues, and that continuity is vital. Like we did in Change 2018, yeah. we'll be having many topics. Mainly what we wanted to talk about is how, like you said in the introduction, is how homelessness and vulnerability in our friends who come to House of Bread does not stop. Yes, we might see our numbers drop off because obviously heat or eat doesn't exist because people have the heat yeah. with the sun. But if there's a bill, if a washing machine breaks down, yeah. anything the like that, somebody can happen. need our help. F homelessness, we hear a lot of people say, oh, well, it's nice and warm, you know, and we've spoken more and more about this on the videos that we've done. Homelessness is a real issue in the summer. We say the numbers have dropped off, but actually I was talking to Lisa earlier this afternoon and we are finding a higher level of consistency this year than we did last year. Right. And so I have a, I have a really uh, sneaking suspicion that perhaps we're not going to experience that, that reduction. But I have a feeling that the numbers we're looking at that have already increased over, the, over this year are probably going to head in that way. Well, there's, a, there's, a different, there's different numbers, isn't there? At different times of year, there's different people who need help. But what we really want to stress, and while we're doing the summer campaign, and we talked about it last week, we've been planning this for a few weeks, is just how important it is for people at home to know that being homeless in the summer still exists and we want to thank you at home because I think we mentioned last week in the change uh, video all the hob news our donations this year have not dropped off no. at all since no. Christmas and in years gone by That's people and it's, it's, yeah. it's mainly been us putting it out there and more and more people obviously know about us these days but what we had at Christmas has just continued throughout the year and that means in the past our food bank donations have dropped and we've had to mix and match our food parcels not everybody's got the same this year week on week everybody has had the same it's been absolutely fantastic from the community yeah i think your point about the core um, homeless either by choice or by crisis and the fact that they will need perpetual support is in, is is really important because it's not going to go. Their world of homelessness, unless things change, and they could mm. if, if actions are taken by a lot of our friends, um, that core consistency is throughout the year. And I think, you know, if, if, if we were only visited by one person, that's a good thing. Um, but it's about those core people. And, and unfortunately, the summer also induces a lot of other activity, like s over over. Um, consuming either drugs or alcohol in the sunshine. Dehydration, um, dehydration a is a massive problem. So we're spending an inordinate amount of time making sure that we've got a good supply of fresh food. I mean, one of the things that's coming up more frequently now is companies coming to us with increased offering of surplus food. Mm. Um, and we've just taken on another company that we'll mention in a couple of weeks' time. So the, the quantity of our offer and the diversity and the fresh food particularly is actually increasing. So we've sort of prepped ourselves ready for the summer, but it's that delusion of, of romancing up, sleeping rough in the summertime. Believe you me, if you could get into accommodation, whatever that might look like, and you were homeless, rough sleeping, sofa surfing, whatever it is, a combination of the two, you would take accommodation. Mm. You wouldn't choose to, to sleep outside. And, and as I we've think that's really said, important. If somebody knows that they're going to be homeless for a long, long time, they will have had all their clothes from the yeah. winter to keep them warm. They're still going to have them in the summer. And where do they leave them? They've got nowhere yeah. to leave them, so they've still got to wear them all. It's the other issue as well is, 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 is personal hygiene. Again, we're working very hard. We're focusing on men's toiletry is you know this is a massive problem in terms of dehydration but actually the whole issue about the lack of wash washing facilities because or people are being very able conscious of that people are very conscious of that and people will remove themselves from help we've had people yeah. not wanting to come in because they say i haven't had a shower for a few days that's why you know we we've looked at getting a shower on yeah, our premises that, that's and having lots of toiletries too. again if you can help by donating lots of toiletries that would be absolutely fantastic yeah. but yeah so next week we'll try Thank and focus you. on holiday cool. hunger Thank you very, very much for watching, and thank you very much to Will. It's all right, Jack. Thank, thank you for inviting me to Lisa, the community who's, garden. Lisa sat over there, she's got a week off. <laughs>
We shall see you next time. Let's hope the audio is recorded. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.